This video shows schools how to apply for compensatory marks for pupils with a hearing impairment who are unable to participate in the spelling paper of the Key Stage 2 English Grammar, Punctuation and Spelling Test. Compensatory marks enable these pupils to receive an overall test outcome. Please note that you need to complete pupil registration before submitting any access arrangements applications. First, sign into the Primary Assessment Gateway. Select the My Activity tab, then Available Activity, followed by Compensatory Marks for Spelling Application. Read the information on screen, then select Start. At the top of the page, you'll see information about you and your school. There is a drop-down list with the Key Stage 2 pupils registered for the tests. You can type a pupil's name to narrow down the names that are displayed, then select a pupil from the list. Read and confirm both statements in the confirmation section using the tick boxes. To be eligible for compensatory marks, you must confirm that the pupil has a profound hearing impairment and cannot access Paper 2 spelling, but will take Paper 1 questions. They should be marked absent for paper 2 spelling and must not take that test paper. Use the reason text box to give further details about the pupil's condition. Confirm you are either the head teacher or that you have delegated authority to make the application, then submit. This page confirms that the application is approved based on the information provided. You will also receive a confirmation email. This email won't contain personal details of the pupil or the application outcome. You can see this information by returning to the My Activity tab and selecting Completed Activity. Select the button with the chain link icon. This will open three tiles. Select View to see a letter with the outcome of the application. You can save and print this letter for your own records, but you must not send it with the pupil's test script for marking. Guidance about compensatory marks for spelling is available on gov.uk. If you have any queries, please contact the National Curriculum Assessments Helpline. Or you can message us in the Primary Assessment Gateway for advice about a specific pupil's needs.